There's a story that's happening later on today. City Council is meeting to discuss property sale agreements with the Board of Regents for Texas Tech University. And our KTSM 9 news reporter Jasmine Perry joins us from out live at the Medical Sciences Building number two. Jasmine, so how are these new proposed dental buildings going to positively impact students there at Texas Tech? Well, good morning, Trevor. I had the chance to speak to the president and dean, Dr. Lang, about how this school is going to be growing in size as they are going to be building, um, you know, classes next to the building that they have here, improving with having students that are 60 to 100 per year. Now, currently, the state of the de art dental school is housed in temporary facilities, a former box manufacturing facility, which is used to be a box factory. If city council passes a motion, Texas Tech will begin to expand the dental classes. President Texas Tech Health Science Center and Dean of the Foster School of Medicine, Richard Lang, says this item on the agenda will help the university have a permanent dental school. And although the city has owned 15 independent properties, Lang says those 15 are vacant, proposing a $9 million market value. Uh, the properties on which the Department of Public Health currently sits and then 15 other properties that are adjacent to it that the city owns right now. And so a fair market value was determined uh, and then uh, which made the terms easy to, to come to because it wasn't based upon what we think it's worth or what the city's worth. It really is two independent appraisals conducting it. Now, Dr. Lane goes on to say the reason why Texas Tech wants to occupy the vacant sites next to the campus is because of the city of El Paso has determined they prefer to improve their services by moving to other sites. Adding that the Department of Public Health has the largest billing and Dr. Lane also says their goal is to collaborate with the city and secure the land for the future dental school for the students and hopefully this will help um, get 204 more dental students in the third year. And also, if you can go ahead and uh, join the City Hall that's starting at 9 a.m. to see how if the motion passes, it starts at 9, like I said, and you can go in person or go online virtually. Reporting live in Central El Paso, I'm Jasmine Perry. Back to you.